Welcome back. What we're going to do is talk about how to get a direct and a network connection with your camera. Okay, we're going to talk about setting IP addresses as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I pulled up my IV navigator and I have a direct connection between the camera and the laptop. I'm going to open that up. Now I've picked the correct network adapter. Okay, 192.168.100, my laptop is .31. Okay, so I'll go ahead and connect. <clears throat> this here is just asking your permission to proceed, direct connection to the sensor be performed. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay. And IB Navigator is going to come open up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our advanced and here's where we can change our device name, set network uh, settings. I've changed our network settings. So here we have the name. And in this case, I'm going to leave it at IV-H500CA. Uh, and we can change our network settings. So here this is just say, saying uh, that the setting for the network connection, currently direct connection, connection, direct connection is in operation. It's, the setting cannot be changed at this time. But um, you can reset your IP address and your subnet mask, all right? Use, and even your different port if you wanted to. But I have my camera set at um, 192.168.100.51. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. All right, now here I have my protocol is Ethernet the, uh, IP. Uh, handshake control is disabled. And at this point, this is all I need at this at this moment. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. Now, I need to pick and or set up a new program. So we can do that in the next video. But what I wanted to do is show you exactly how to set up your IP address and make your connection direct. Now, what I will do is I will take my camera and I will put it into a network of, of several devices and then we'll go ahead and connect via the network option. All right. So what I've done is I've connected the camera to a multi-port um, Ethernet switch. And you'll see that it timed out and lost connection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to the network. And I'm going to open it up. There's the IP address, the port that we're going to use. There's my laptop, dot three one. Okay, so I can search for the sensor here. And it'll tell me if it finds it. I have a... I have a, uh, a compact logics on this network, my laptop, and the camera. All right, so there it found the camera, all right, the MAC address, the IP address, subnet. So I can go ahead and connect to it. Now that I've got these moved into a better position, let's go ahead and connect to, let's see what's who's active on our network. Let's go ahead and so we see our processor. Let's go online. We're online. Now what we've got is our camera. We've got a program picked, chosen. We'll actuate and trigger, and there we go. Now we got a no-go, right? Right. Okay. So let's let's uh, try this again, and boom now we're getting better now we got an okay so we got an outline we got a color and we got 85 out of 100 all right so that's what i wanted to do in this video just kind of share um a little bit of that with you so on the next one